Hi guys, Trolls on Reactions, and this video is going to react to episode 20 of season 1 of Babylon 5. Let's get into it. God, I hate mornings. We noticed. Personally, I find it Who the best doesn't? Part of the day. Uh, me too. What? We all have our cross to bear. No, no, the no. no it's the really worst part. Mornings was during the three years I spent being taught by Jesuits. Breathing in. You're cruel. Well. What? Oh, that was great. Oh, I just hit the spot. I see you cleaned your plate, too. Guess I better get going. Me, too. It's nearly 7. God. 7.30? I, I didn't even... I slept through breakfast? Check the Ooh, time! Breakfast? Check Nothing the time! Uh -huh. No, nothing. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. You'll have to excuse me. Uh, CNC, this is Ivana, but I realize I'm late, but I... Three, two, one. Oh, you're a bully! <laughs> <laughs> Signed your own debt warrant. <laughs> seven to Babylon, the countdown as well. On targets. Babylon control, there's something out here. Can you identify Alpha 7? Oh, not quite, I can't make it out. It... Sort of looks like a turtle. <laughs> That's not possible. That can't be. What is not? It. it was the dawn of the third. Was it the. Was it another? Was it one of the previous Babylon stations? That's my guess at the moment. One of the previous Babylon stations. Oh wait, was it there like a missing Babylon station? Wait, wait, wait. Where are my damn notes? Was it there one missing? Yeah, yeah. Babylon Four disappeared. Maybe it's that Babylon station. But, but why would? Why would it attack and kill people? Nah, I guess I'll find out. Do -do -do. Do -do. Thank you, Babylon Control. Are you sure you don't require a pilot, Ambassador? Quite sure. Seems like a comfy chair. Some things one must do alone. Is it the uh, infiltrated? It's She's just sitting there, not approaching the docking bay. Run a full scan of Alpha 7. Empty? On it. No structural damage. Hull integrity looks fine. Life signs. Yeah. Empty, right? It's empty. There's no life signs. Commander, he's dead. Everything points to death by natural causes. So why is that hard to explain? Because in this case, the natural cause was old age. Well, in Garibaldi, he just turned Old 30. age? He looked fine from the outside, but the doc says his internal organs were like those of a man three times his age. How did he get back here? This is the buckle off the pilot's safety harness. Looks like he managed to scratch something into it before he died. Yeah. B4. Babylon! Babylon 4! Babylon yes! 4? It's the when I can't figure it's the four Babylon station! Without a trace over four years ago. I don't get it. Nor should you. Without one other piece of information, I ran a check on Sector 14. The Tachyon emissions are coming from the exact location where Babylon 4 disappeared. Babylon 4 recognition signal confirmed. This is nuts. The station just doesn't disappear and reappear four years later like some kind of flying Dutchman. Only one way to find out. <laughs> Let's see it. Repeat. Earth Station. Babylon 4 requesting help. We need assistance. We're caught in some kind of flux. Flux? Powers at 30% ships damaged. We need help to evacuate. We must get out before it's too late. We just gone operational with... When what? We just gone operational when? Oh, God. It's starting again. It's starting again. The signal's too weak. We lost it. And one more thing. The date stamp on the message is four years out of date. Are we dealing with time jumps? We're going to find Babylon 4. Ah, uh, but do we want that? I guess sort of early retirement then? The fuck? There's a definite risk factor at work here. If anyone wants to pull out, now's the time. No questions will be asked. Don't tell me they're all gonna die of old age. All right. Saddle up. We hit space in 20 minutes. Mind if I ask you a question? Sure. Okay, it's morning. You're getting ready to go to work. You pull on your pants. You fasten and then zip, a zip and then fasten. What? What kind of question is that? <laughs> well, look, we got two hours to kill. Forget it. Just a question. Don't you have like a port portable like game know? console or something? Why do I want to know? Because I think of these things sometimes. 
Now, you're always so serious all the time. Not every conversation has to be the end of the world as we know it. Always so I serious. You, you guys just that. joked this morning. It's okay. Um, just watch my console. Don't worry about it. Fasten then zip. You? <laughs> Fasten zip. <laughs> Time for creepy gray council stuff. Yay! Maybe I will get some answers? My calling is to serve, not to lead. My work on Babylon 5 is concluded. Concluded? Prophecy, prophecy will attend to itself. We will pray for guidance and select another to take your place. What? It must be a great relief knowing you will never again return to Babylon Great 5. relief? Wow. It's clearly not. It's clearly not. And she is gonna return. And I still don't have any damn answers. But don't, 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 don't die of old age, though. Avalon 4. Signal the others. We're going in. Like, I figured it would be, at some point we would see this, you know, station again. But once again, I didn't think so soon. I didn't think we would already, I guess, see it in the first season. Not that I'm complaining, of course. Goodness. Monsters! I'll stop you! What? Monsters? They're not monsters! You want them? I know who you are. Are you dealing with shapeshifters? Sure. What? I'll cover you. Come on and show yourself! Man! It's alright. We'll take him. <laughs> Major Lewis Kranz, Babylon 4. You have a lot of explaining to do. Final stages of construction. We have to hurry. We have to get everyone off the station quickly before- Uh-oh. No, no, not a time jump, please. Oh shit, the light! What? 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 Whoa! Are these monsters attacking? Point to what? Sacrifice yourself? What the fuck? Are what? What was that? Something it's damn horrible. A flash. Forward. Backward. We've become unstuck in time, Commander. That's why we have to get out of here quickly. You cannot do it. I cannot accept the calling. In over a thousand years, no one has refused. Oh, it's the Perhaps first time. This time, I hear their calling. I know the reasons for it, and part of me yearns to accept. But I must listen to the greater calling of my heart. I wish to reconvene the council. I must speak to them. That has never been done. Again, always the first time. But says his name is Zathras. We don't know how he got aboard, where he came from, or what race he is. I've never seen an alien like him before. Are you responsible for these time thingies? <gasps> what, you know him? <sighs> not the one. Oh. No. Not the one what? Yeah, not the one. They told Zathras, biggest of all Babylon stations we need. Needing we take. You might be from though. <laughs> there is no more to tell him. Is that weird? Why do you need Babylon 4? Zathras tells. You let Zathras go. Finish what Zathras came for. Zathras tells. Maybe we don't break Zathras' scrawny little neck. Ooh. A great darkness. It is the end of everything. Always the end, never the beginning. Zathras won, but... Oh, no, no one listened to poor Zathras, no. The one leads us. The one tells us to go. We go. We live for the one. We would die for the one. So who the heck is this one? We pull this place through time to save us all. Major, it's back. Let's get You're hey. What kind of guards are you? There it is again. What the hell? Huh? 
It is the one? He stopped the time taking to let these escape station. You're saying he deliberately stopped Babylon 4 to let the crew get off. <laughs> You better be sure about it. What the hell did you give him? What is it that makes the humans so special? What is it that draws you to them? They fight. They argue. They are ruled by passions and fears. Yes. And that is their strength. The passions we deplore have taken them to their place in the stars and will propel them to a great destiny. Their only weakness is that they do not recognize their own greatness. We may best avoid division by removing you from our company. You could become outcast. Oh. I understand. But I must do what I believe is right. Then we shall put it to a vote. Who among us will honor Delen's request? Oh. <laughs> How do you even control the lights? Another will be chosen to lead us. It's kind of difficult for them to relax after God knows. What was that device you handed over? Time I have endured. Help survive when make next time jump. What about the evacuation? One more pass, and we'll have everybody off the station except you and the command staff. If you're coming, you better do it now. This place is falling apart faster than. So this is it. I don't understand you, Michael. You've got a good life here. Of course, we have history. to see something like this. You missed a Sinclair character twice, and now you're off to Babylon. Sinclair Park, character. Like oh shit! We haven't even taken you off the ship yet. Already dying. Think I want to? We have to leave now, with or without you. You have. A oh. Go. Please. What the hell is going on around here? Come <laughs> on, I've on. been thinking at the whole episode. <laughs> come on. It's like watching a great old ship go down for the last time. Yeah, well, you're not the captain of the ship, but I'm not about to let you go down with it. Now, come on. So go already. Come move on. your ass. All right. Zathras trusts the one. What? Can you at least take your helmet off? Time distortion repair. Like is it is it present time atmosphere? Is it Sinclair? Is it Sinclair himself? <gasps> it is I tried. What the hell? I tried to warn them. But it all happened. Just the way I remember it. Oh no. I know. What? Huh? They waited for us. Is that the Lin? What the hell? You what? I think that bit was true. About a great war and Babylon 4 being the base for somebody to try and bring peace to the galaxy. I don't know. But if it is true, I wish them luck. The station was built to create peace. Maybe now it'll do so in a way nobody ever expected. The Triluminary. I can't. There are still two others. It won't be missed for a time. If you are right, you will have more need of it than we will. These are curious times, Delenn. We are surrounded by signs and portents. Oh! And I feel a darkness pressing in our path. So it's true, then? Yes, it's true. Great. I missed it. Not necessarily, Lieutenant Commander. We don't know where Babylon 4 was going. Or when it was going. Who knows? Especially Delenn. It may show up again sometime. Well, if it does, this time I'm going and Garibaldi's staying here. Um, I don't think you want to experience it. The Flying Dutchman, he called him. Did the Flying Dutchman ever make it home? No. Did you expect a happy ending? Oh, and of course we would end on that note. <laughs> of course we would. Okay, well, uh... This was episode 20 of season 1 of Babylon 5 and I thought it was very good. It was a great episode. <laughs> I was pretty much, I guess, like shocked throughout the episode. 
it was very enjoyable. Mm, I, I I do feel like I was pretty much frowning throughout the episode. Like my whatever, like my facial muscles or whatever you want to call it. They <laughs> they've been through some shit. Um, but holy moly. Uh, okay, so not only did we see the Great Council again, but we also had this sort of like time jumping stuff. Plus, we got to see the missing Babylon station. Like, I'm so happy that I actually wrote it down. Uh, that I wrote down which Babylon station it was. Uh, it was nice to, like, be able to guess it just before, you know, they explained it to us. But, wow, like I said during the episode, definitely surprised that we already got to see the station again. I thought this mystery would be something that would last, you know, a lot longer. But then I guess that, like, the mystery is already solved now. It's still, uh, there's still a lot of questions. Uh, how about the fact that the one, this, uh, what, what, Zot, was was talking about, uh, is Sinclair. I was already confused when he was like, oh, you're not the one. I was like, what do you mean? How is Sinclair not the one? <laughs> if we're talking about the one, it has to be Sinclair. You know, we've been building this whole prophecy stuff up for quite some time now. So I was like, how can he not be the one? Does he have competition now? <laughs> and okay, the Grey Council, you know, they, it's clearly they believe that, like, well, they, I guess the Lin, I should say, believes that um, multiple people, you know, there's this chance that multiple people have this prophecy, uh, as declares clearly one of them, and I guess he has one of the most important ones, and, and it seems, you know, that this is connected to this great war, uh, that we also got, like, a little, you know, piece of, uh, the great war that would be, like, the end of everything, but also somehow, where was that part? Like, a great hope of peace, whatever the hell that means, I just saw a whole lot of horribleness, but yeah, St. Clair is, is the one, and he, like, I'm, I'm obviously still confused about this whole shit, because he was the one, I thought, like, try to, I mean, Zatra said that this, that this person was willing, you know, I guess to give himself up, so that he, he was, would be stuck into this, god, this is confusing as hell, uh, where, where are all those words? Like, he didn't have a, a, a time stable lure. Okay, I don't even know. I'm confused. Anyways, we've seen it throughout the episode. He was stuck. He, like, appeared and then disappeared multiple times. And um, St. Clair was already clearly more affected than the others, you know, when, when um, we could see this mysterious figure, you know, seemingly being a pain. Um, and also, just, I mean, kind of sucks that you're you're just stuck in this sort of time, whatever the hell it was. <laughs> I'm sure someone will be able to maybe simplify that shit for me. Um, but th it was like, okay, I know that Sinclair can be very emphatic, obviously. But there was something, I don't know, there was like, okay, what is going on here? And then we all set the hands. And not gonna lie, if it was very, I guess, smart of them to put this whole you're not the one uh, thing in there. Because obviously I feel like a lot of people, including me, would think like, you know, is it not Sinclair? I mean, we're dealing with time stuff, so it's not that weird to feel or at least to entertain the the notion that maybe the same characters are here multiple times. Like the same characters of multiple timelines or whatever. But once again, like I said, because of this, uh, because of Satras... And he seemed so convinced, he was like, oh, okay, he's not. But now, you know, I guess I didn't really think about, you know, him lying about it. Uh, clearly, he knew it was the one. That's also why, uh, why when he was laying on the ground, he told Sinclair that he has a prophecy and that, you know, he has to go. But at the same time, he knew that he could still count on Sinclair because then we got to reveal that this one person is, in fact, Sinclair. As older Sinclair, who also has this scar on his cheek... And apparently he was there because he tried, he wanted to like warn the, the Babylon 4. Like he wanted to warn them. And, and of course, again, um, he wanted to make sure that they could, you know, if he could not warn them in time, that they could still like leave the station. Um, but he was clearly supported. He wasn't able, you know, to do more, you know, that it, it just happened the way he remembered. And then, off, sort of off-screen, but then again, I did saw like the tip of her nose, I believe. I think it was the Lin, but like the, the not that we saw much, but like usually the Lin tends to wear like the same clothes, right? 
uh, it seems to be that she's always wearing the same thing or things that look alike. But this arm, um, unless I already forget it, was like uh, red. So did the Lin like change her style? I don't know. Maybe that doesn't seem that relevant, but just saying. But I'm guessing it's the Lin, but it was off screen. So now wondering, like, originally did this air like widescreen or was it like uh, a little squares? I'm really wondering if I was supposed to see like the tip of her nose. I'm really wondering about that. But yeah, anyways, I, f I think it's Dylan. It makes sense, you know. Oh God, now I have even more questions. <sighs> I really have to process this episode. Um, so yeah, we have all of that going on. Then, like I said, I already mentioned a little bit. We have, you know, we see the Great Council again, and they wanted to make the Lin the leader of the Great Council. But the Lin, you know, she doesn't want to be the leader because, like you said, she, as with her heart, she feels like you know she has to listen to her calling, and she believes that her calling isn't you know becoming the leader, even though you know she definitely. It was definitely not easy for her to, you know, deny that. Um, it's she really has this calling in her heart that she, she feels that she has to be, you know, still part of the Babylon Five. You know, clearly also because, well, also mainly because of uh, of uh, Sinclair, obviously. But I don't. I, she denied, you know, becoming the leader, and at the same time, she also tried to convince them why it's not you know, weird or unacceptable for her to believe that this prophecy th that they're talking about and why it's in fact, you know, uh, it should be applied onto humans and not like other races. And I I really like this, I guess, monologue she was giving about, you know, why it's uh, the humans because obviously the other members... They look down at humans, so they're like, oh, they're so primitive. And, you know, I can't really blame them for looking down at humans. <laughs> um, but I I liked how Delin was saying that, you know, this thing, mainly, I guess, like the passions that humans have, um, you know, they can definitely stand the way. A lot of times they can definitely cause a lot of destruction, but at the same time, they can be a great motivator. Um, and like you said, they can, like, propel, you know, humans to their, to their, to their I guess, their purpose. Um, and also, I really liked how she's emphasized that people are definitely, you know, they're better than they think, but they don't realize it. They're not able to, I guess, to acknowledge, acknowledge that. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, like, you, you could, you could argue it's not the most unique take we've ever heard, but I really like that little scene. Um, and we can, you know, once again, this all shows that how much conviction the Lynn has um you know and in th this path she's walking on um plus also now she's like well pretty much cut off from the great council because you know did it become a leader now she's uh an outcast basically and that's like the best case scenario i would believe you know like i'm a little bit worried that some members are not gonna be happy with her being an outcast. Maybe some of them would, 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 maybe would try to get her out of the way because she would know too much. And it's and they made it clear that all of these things, like these objections she had, wasn't something that had before. So they didn't really like, unless they're covering it up. But they didn't really had to deal with people, you know, having them like leave the Great Council and everything. So I'm a little bit worried that maybe they would try to take the lid out. But then again, I'm a little bit more worried about this Great War, of course. Um, but yeah, with all of this going on, I did, I do appreciate even more the beginning scene we got between Garibaldi Sinclair and Ivanova. Um, I, I did feel bad for her, but it was, it was quite an innocent joke. <laughs> uh, I liked, you know, seemed a little, a little bit more lighthearted. And we also, you know, that was, wasn't everything. We also had this moment where Garibaldi was trying, you know, to kind of. I guess make sure that this two hours that they had to wait wouldn't last as long. And he asked this like, sort of like, what the f question? I mean, <laughs> it was so random, but I liked Sinclair's reaction to it. And eventually he did uh, abuse him um, and answered the question. Okay, after that it was done. But still, you know, it, it was something. So I, as always, you know, I really like those interactions between the characters and seeing their friendship. 
Um, it's, I do think, you know, it's not just like, oh, it's like a fun moment or like, hey, we can laugh for a second. I just lo- love see, uh, I just love seeing constantly, you know, why exactly um, these characters actually like e- each other or like care about each other, which makes it easier for me as well to continue to care about them as well. And when we do have like action pieces to be um, not to actually care and to be worried that something will happen. Hmm. So I do I I liked I liked all of that. I think it was a nice balance with the like what the stuff. Mm. Like I said, I, I was hoping for some answers so, <laughs> regarding the prophecy, but I can deal with raiding. We're still, you know, uh, it's not like they're not giving me anything. You know, obviously I got some more information now with this whole like flash forward bit. And then again, we also got a flash back. Yeah, <laughs> lol, I forgot. Flashback, sort of, uh, of Garibaldi and seeing, you know, it wasn't a happy one, but seeing how, you know, things ended with Liz. Um, it's a good thing that we already, you know, we already got to hear the story, at least from Garibaldi's perspective, about, you know, how that's the thing that he never really, it never really, like, officially ended between them was like open open ended and then we already saw like you know in these times that she was able to seemingly moved on and you know is also pregnant and obviously that made him upset but it's good that we already had you know that background so that with that I guess baggage it was definitely harder to see this flashback instead of having this flashback first and then afterwards filling in the gap so I'm happy with that you know I'm not not happy for Garibaldi of course <laughs> Mm. Satras, by the way, I did like the performance as well. I was definitely not sure how to f- what to think about him. Not sure whether he was trustworthy or not. But seeing how, you know, Sinclair. Well, I guess both Sinclairs <laughs> um, tried to like save him. You know, I really believe their instinct. So, yeah. Mm-mm. I really have to process this episode, man. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my attempt of a review. Very curious to your guys' comments. And of course, a analysis, if that's like the plural form. Um, but yeah, I believe it's only two episodes left. And then I finished the first season. So, you know, I'm already like shook with this one. So I'm like holding my heart for, uh, for what's gonna happen in the next two episodes. Yeah. I'm nervous, but obviously also very excited. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.